I grew up always being outside barefoot. When I was a teen, we had a long limestone gravel driveway. Every few years, my dad would have a new layer of limestone put down, so it was pretty thick. But I could run barefoot down that driveway at full speed. You like to cover your hands with glue, just to peel it off again. Then you could look at all the detail of your hand and fingerprints. It's storming outside. Unplug the TV. Get off the phone. Get out of the shower. Here's something the younger generations won't understand. Anytime there was a storm, why did you have to get out of the shower? If you think you know, punch a bunch of keys and drop your answer in the comments. The original high chair at all family gatherings. And if one wasn't enough, you probably had two or three laying around. Made being a redneck cool. 33 years before Duck Dynasty was even heard of. Today's kids will never know. You get into life with one of these. I don't know about that, but you could definitely put somebody's eye out. Regardless, they sure smarted sometimes. The original car phone. I actually put a Cobra Hideaway CB in the glove box and I installed the remote hookup port on the dash. Anytime I wanted to use it, all I had to do was get my mic out of the glove box and plug it up. Kids today will never know the joy of finding money in the coin return. This is something I hadn't thought of in a long time. But yeah, we used to always go around and check see if we could find any change. How many of you think that both Darth Vader and Dark Helmet were great in their respective movies? And people think stepping on Legos are bad. Back in the day, if I wanted to download a song, I used to sit with my old tape recorder next to the radio and wait for a cool song. Then hit record. I had a few tapes that were recorded that way, but the really crappy quality when you do it like that. It was a whole lot better to use a stereo or a boombox like this and be able to record directly from the radio to the cassette. I didn't finish reading my book in time. No free personal pan pizza. Yeah, I was really sad when that happened. Dear Google, this and not this. Pretty sure that's one of the Google Map Street View cars with the cameras on it. How many of you have ever seen one of those in person? I was actually at my local truck stop probably about a year ago and just happened to look up and there was one driving through the parking lot. So now I'm probably on Google Map Street View somewhere. R2-D2. He was so vulgar, they bleeped out every word he said. Well, you can't prove them wrong. A cardboard box was the best toy ever. Especially when it was big boxes like this. When you bought your riding lawnmower and it came in a cardboard box. Some assembly may have been required. Back then, that wouldn't have been an issue for the vast majority of men. But it would definitely be an issue these days. Ozzy Osbourne showing John Lennon how to ride heavy metal, 1968. Yes, this is a joke. How many of you know where this is from? This should be a pretty easy one for most of you. What is something you used to do as a child that you wish you could still do? I wish I could remember things and have my health back. Teenagers nowadays will never understand our craft. My truck don't have either of these. I actually use a portable Bluetooth speaker in my cell phone. In the 80s, kids built forts, played outside, built booby traps, and brought home wild animals. And took wild animals to school, too. I can't even remember all the different ones that I took to science class. Everything from tadpoles, 
to frogs, crawfish, even some small fish. And there was one time I even took a small snake. It was a kind of snake that was around our property. And some of them got really large. I even stepped on a full grown one barefooted while weed eating down by the creek one day. It was about six feet long. And when I stepped on it, it jumped up off the ground from both ends. As soon as I stepped off of it, it took off like a bat out of hell. So I caught a smaller one and took it to my science class the next day. Cause I knew my science teacher was really good at identifying different snake species. Found out they were northern pine snakes. My dad had this exact same set. As a matter of fact, I still have it sitting in a drawer. That's pretty much true. That'd have been more true back in the 80s and 90s. Somewhat true these days, depending on where you are and how much money the police department has. You don't know the struggle until you have to heat your house like this. I don't think this is a Gen X thing or 80s thing, but more so just a poor thing. Probably ran out of gas. You're trying to get by those last few days of the month before you can get your propane tank refilled. Nineteen seventy. Twenty twenty. I showed a slightly different version of these in a past video, and I asked if anyone knew what they were. There was a few correct answers that came back, saying it was an ice tray. You'd pull the lever, and it would move all the little metal pieces down through there, breaking apart the individual ice cubes loose from the tray. One of my grandmothers had a bunch of these in her freezer. My grandmother had a clock that looked almost exactly like this. If you guys are enjoying the content, please remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. This just in, NBC is now pulling Wizard of Oz because it's offensive to people without brains. This wouldn't be surprising. Who else loved doing this as a child? I'm not sure what country those coins came from, but I think we all done this. Remember saving your pictures like this? You ever come back to an old photo album years and years later? And you go to pull back the clear plastic that's holding the pictures in place and the pictures are stuck to it and peels off part of it? Remember before caller ID when you had to dial star 69 to see who called? Yeah, I remember when that came along. When they first started it, you had to pay for that just by itself. Just like they had call waiting and other things all individual. Eventually they bundled them all together so you could pay like five bucks a month for all of it. Who remembers these in the classroom? How many of you remember the original blackboards before they turned them green? I love driving in the winter because I pretend I'm flying the Millennium Falcon. I've actually thought of this when I'm driving through the snow before. You only get this effect if it's at night and you turn on your high beams. If your aunt didn't have one of these, then you're not old enough to like this picture. Police report that when they removed this boulder, there was an unalived coyote underneath it. Witnesses say they saw a roadrunner leaving the scene. All joking aside, I couldn't imagine what it would have looked like if there'd have been a car right there when I'd hit the ground. I'm a wooden spoon, lead paint, no car seat, no seat belt, no bike helmet, bed of pickup riding, garden hose drinking, survivor. This I don't miss. That is true when your cassette tape turned into a bird's nest. And then you spent the next hour rewinding it while trying to minimalize the damage to the tape. Name an 80s movie with a great soundtrack. You could pick a lot of movies here, but I'll just go with Back to the Future. Hey, let's go watch music videos on MTV. 1981, 
through 2008. This is true. That is when MTV unalived. I just boxed up one of these a couple months ago. Looks almost identical except for the paint color. It's my mom's Electrolux vacuum cleaner she's had for some years now. And the year before, I'd put new bearings in the motor and had repaired the electric cord reel. The vacuum cleaner still runs fine. The problem is the hose. These hoses had a rubber liner, and after all these years, that rubber's all deteriorated. So the whole length of the entire hose is leaking air. She even tried to buy a couple off of eBay. But they'd always do the same thing within a month or two. We saw some of this in the last couple of years, but I'd say we're going to see a lot more of it pretty soon. My pops finally beating Super Mario Brothers in 1988. The Nintendo was a present for me and my sister. I love your memes. You must be fun to hang out with. Me in person. Well, a lot older, a whole lot less hair, and a full beard. Who is old enough to remember when you needed two keys for one car? Yeah, and it always annoyed the heck out of me. I'm thankful that on my 86 truck, that the door locks and ignition all match to the same key. One of the door locks is a little bit messed up, but I'm not going to change it because I don't want two keys. This must have been within the last couple of years, if I'm guessing. Notice the veterinarian dog cone around his head. My grandmother had one that was similar to this. It was kind of cool when it was plugged up and turned on. You guys had Jersey Shore. We had Polly Shore. We are not the same. I just realized I read that wrong, but I actually said it correctly. I've never even saw that show, but whoever made this meme is the one that has it wrong. Today's generation has no idea who lived here. If you think you know, smash the correct letters to make up your answer and drop it in the comments below. You know you're a child of the 80s if Ubu never sat. Most of you guys will know what this means. I think I could probably find some practical uses for these these days. In 1980, the Miracle on Ice took place in Lake Placid, New York, as the U.S. Olympic team upset the Soviet Union 4-3. to three. Yeah, I'm a little late on this meme. It actually been a couple weeks ago. I have no idea who this cartoon character is, but I threw this in here because all of us know Michael. The Nickelback of Malt Beverages. You know you loved it. I don't know what the big blacklisting of Nickelback was all about, but they're one of the 90s bands that I actually listened to. I had their CDs, which I later ripped to MP3s, and I still have their songs on my playlists. Change is not always better. The 80s had a lot of things right. I think most of us can agree. A rare picture of the entire Prince band in one studio. If you look closely, you will see the vocalist, guitarist, bassist, drummer, keyboardist, pianist, songwriter, and producer all in this photo. Sometimes when I look back at my life, and I'm seriously impressed that I'm still alive. If you know what movie this is from, leave it down in the comments. I decided to watch the original Transformers film to see if I would like it. And holy sh You can't hear images. Me. Why did my mom make me think it was illegal 
to turn a light on in a car while you were driving for my whole childhood. I actually had someone comment on a past video who was asking, it is illegal, isn't it? Right? <laughs> Have I been lied to my whole life? I was just funny. I had a good chuckle out of that one. One of my students really wrote a sentence that begins, in the late 1900s, I had to reread it three times to realize what the heck was going on. My feelings are hurt. I never thought of it that way. Those born after 2000 think of the 1990s as the last century. We're really getting old, guys. Who ate these right from the tree as a youngin? We have a few wild blackberries that grows around here. We also used to have several persimmon trees, but I think they've all died in the last couple years, as I never even found one persimmon last year. If you know why the corner is taped, you are officially old. Heck, if you know what a cassette tape is, you're old, let alone why we taped over the corners. And if you didn't have any tape, you'd stuff paper in it or something, like some of you guys said on a past video. He liked cats before it got mainstream. Yeah, before cat videos went viral on YouTube. Heck, one of my earliest videos on the channel is a cat video. I also have a dog video, along with a lot of other odd and end topics. This picture makes me so sad. It's like looking at the... Pieta? I don't know how you pronounce that. I didn't even know what it was. I had to look it up. Some statue that Michelangelo made. And he didn't even include a single slice of pizza. You. 40 years ago. Ah, so 1960. No, 1980. No. The original Chuck E. Cheese definitely looks like he'd tell a child while ashing his cigar on their pizza. You can bring back one TV show. What do you choose? This is actually a pretty hard one because there's a lot of right answers, but I'm gonna go with MacGyver. If it was the original MacGyver, not this one they tried to remake here in the last year or so. When I was a kid, these guys ruled the TV. These guys were always funny, especially their sarcasm. The Smashing Pumpkins wrote the song 1979 in 1995. That's equivalent to a band today writing a hit song called 2008. No one asked you for this math, sir. I do not appreciate this math. Yeah, you millennials are getting old too. You're not too far behind some of Gen X. What is the first movie that comes to mind when you see Emilio Estevez? Easy. Breakfast Club. No helmet, no elbow pads, no shin guards. Just a boy and his bike. That's how we rolled in the 80s. That almost looks like a pre-built ramp. Either that or they built a pretty nice ramp and painted it. He's just getting back in time. For all your hard work this week, please choose a marble. I think I'll choose the Orca. That's just a pretty cool pattern. On the last episode of this Gen X and Millennial series, I told everyone about a little Easter egg that was on the O'Reilly's Auto Parts website. If you go to their website and type in the search box, part number 121G, you will see this. The flux capacitor. It even has a detailed description down here at the bottom. I just thought this was great that O'Reilly's done this. I stop at O'Reilly's every once in a while. And the next time I go in there, I'm going to tell them I need this part number. It'd be hilarious if it actually comes up on their store computers. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. 
I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.